I got this Dyson Needle Felting Kit from my cousin long long time ago and I found it in my drawer a few days ago so this idea came into my mind I might be able to make what exactly look like this Needle Felting Elephant Speak frankly, I have no idea and I'm nervous I will take it as a challenge but I hope it's not gonna to ruin my reputation from this Let's check out now <laughs> Let's check the instruction first. Before we start, we need to know the proportion of each part. So here says one half for head and the ears are also one half. Nose is one fifth, legs, hands and body is one half as well. In this instruction, here gives you reference size but I won't consider that in the beginning. Okay, let's make the head first. Here, the instruction is Mei no dai dai no ichi wo kimi hana ni a adama ni hana wo sashitsukeru Eh Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need to back to the top. Here. Okay. Yes, we need to make the base of this head Yes, a sphere shape But uh, it confused me Okay, there is no other instruction for how to make each part of them uh, You need to figure it out by yourself how to make this kind of shape uh oh, good luck for the beginner. Hmm. Okay, so now my project is that first thing I need to do is make this kind of elements first. Okay, let me poke each part, each part of this first now. <laughs> I think I got the proportion issue right now. <laughs> Look at this head. It's so small than the picture on the ear. 
Like, if you make the combination like this, that the face is too small, and I need to serve those for the rest of the part. So, I don't know. I think I need to make the body and the legs and the hands and the nose first. And then, if I have some wood wrap left, then I will then I will do it with the hat again to make it bigger. And the funny thing is that in here, the instruction didn't tell you they're good to tell you that the body, the top of that must to be uh, soft and then you can join that with the head and the legs and the hands as well but they didn't mention that the ears must to be the same and the nose as well that because normally if I did two parts must to join like this one is flat and this one is 3D a sphere shape so normally I will tear it into half and then I can join them perfectly like this so it will be really steady here firm um, that is not talking in here so I think this is not for the beginner it's other bands and you got it now okay I need to catch up that's the proportion issue that I must to make rest of the part and see how it goes Okay, now as you can see, I already done the each part that the head, ears, nose, body, and the legs, and the tail. So this is for leg, nose, tail, and two ears. And I will join them now to see. Oh, but I forgot my body. Oh my god. Wait a second. I just realized that I don't have enough for buddy. It's just this left. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> I need to make more wool to make this buddy. This is insane. <laughs> I'm a bad student, you see. <laughs> Here, let me fix this problem now. A few moments later. Okay, now the crisis and this is the body and because I like uh, this fiber, I guess this is Corrida or other kind of wool fiber. This one is merino, so it's much more soft. The, and then I will join them and then we'll make it more look like the elephant and I will follow the instruction here like where is the, the eyes and the ears and the nose and the legs and the tail and the pink is for the cheeks so oh and the ribbon is for the neck so see you in a few minutes no, it's in few seconds. It's insane. Pink is pink. <laughs> 
different sizes. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no. No. This is for hell now. I must still remove them. ridiculous that look at my elephant it's not like the same as the picture my is <laughs> really funny that I found out that I couldn't have the same size of the face that I like of wall fiber and you can see apparently the color is slightly different this part is because I made from this wool I had and the rest of the part is from the peat is this kind of wool so the fiber is different and the other thing is that the eyes they provide it's not the same size as this one this is ridiculous they have the smaller one and this one is huge okay let's take a close-up look as you can see it's still a little bit furry because the fiber so in this you can see the fiber is really fuzzy here and then you can train it with the scissor but it's troublesome to do it like this way so that's why in the last video i show you how to make it smooth surface look so you can compare this one to this one i can say that i do it like i am a beginner a novice and I found it interesting that for a needle felting kit that we probably need to explain more about how to make those things and how to attach it like join them to this uh, anyway I hope you don't feel frustrated that if you are a beginner and you want to start to make a needle felting from a needle felting kit it's pretty same like you will do something like me or much more better that don't feel frustrated since i did if you don't know how to make it just take it easy and have fun in there that is the most important because you must do that your creativity out let me know how do you feel and what do you think that is most important from this kind of instruction for you you think which part is more difficult and you want to understand more is from how to make this kind of shape or how to join them or the proportion leave the comment below let me know and i see you next time bye bye